Good morning everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a video that's going to make me feel really uncomfortable, <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys about it. So uh, very recently, I think it was last week, I put on my Instagram a post that I was three months sober and I was overwhelmed by the incredible encouragement and the loving words and other people, you know, admitting to me that they don't drink and so anyways, I want to get into the story a little bit. So, you know, I'm from Canada and I'm from the province of Alberta where the drinking age is 18, but growing up, the culture was just to start drinking very early, like much earlier, years earlier. And my girlfriends and I, we, we partied pretty hard. Like we, we drank a lot. We would party a lot and we would drink usually to get drunk. And that's just the, the truth of it. And I never remember having a sensitivity to alcohol ever growing up. You know, I, I could drink, I rarely even got drunk because I would just had kind of like a high threshold for it. Um, and, you know, and then I started aging and, you know, growing a little older and more mature and kind of growing out, out of that phase. And, and um, but I found that in my late 20s, early 30s, like late 20s, if I went out for wine with a girlfriend, like my girlfriend Mary and I, we would meet about once a month, we would go and Cafe Select in Edmonton and we would have a bottle of red wine. If I, if we had a bottle of red wine and I went home, I would get really sick afterwards. Like I would be fine when I got home and then I'd go to bed and like an hour or two after I would be violently ill in the bathroom. So I thought, this is weird. Like, why is this happening? This has never happened to me before. So I just thought, you know what, it's the red wine, it's the tannins in the red wine, it, you know, my stomach doesn't appreciate it, so I'm not gonna drink red wine anymore. So I switched to white wine, you know, Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blancs, and vodka, I would drink vodka, and that seemed to be better on my system, not fantastic, but better. Um, and then it just got worse over time, like, I don't know, but my sensitivity to alcohol just got worse and worse and worse. Flash forward to, you know, let's say the last four or five years, um, if I even have a glass of wine, you know, a light wine like Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc, I, I will go out, enjoy a glass of wine with, you know, friends or something like that. I'll come home and wake up in the middle of the night and I'm violently ill. Like, it's not even funny. It's me spending the rest of the night on the bathroom floor very 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 sick i love the taste of wine red wine white wine all of it i love you know kicking back on an outdoor patio with some girlfriends and drinking some wine but um i it just became to the point where it was just like it's not worth it like i have to accept facts my body is just very very sensitive to alcohol and also my husband does not drink um all of last year, I think I remember, we went out to Fleming's for dinner and he surprised me by ordering a glass of wine. I'm pretty sure he didn't even finish it. When we just started dating eight years ago, nine years ago, we would drink, like we would go out and we would have wine, we would enjoy a couple drinks together. You know, I'd go back to his place, he'd come back to my place, we would have some more wine as we were watching a movie or whatever the case may be. And sometime, like I'd say like three or four, four or five years ago, something like that, he just stopped drinking. like he will honestly have like a couple glasses of wine maybe a year maybe and so we don't really have alcohol in the house and it's just yeah and then i started getting super sensitive like just ridiculous alcohol sensitivity and then i started noticing that um even if i did just risk it and have like a glass of wine that it changed my behavior uh quickly like i would say or do things that I didn't mean. And then I started noticing that, you know, if my girlfriends were out and they were having a couple glasses of wine and they would call me afterwards, you could hear, you know, in their voice. And these are people that have drank their whole life. It's not like they can't handle alcohol. But then they would be careless with their words with me. Many, many times over the last couple of years, I have noticed that alcohol makes people careless with their words careless with their behavior. I have been guilty of that a couple times. Very, very bad situations where there was this one situation with a person that I've known forever and she and I were both drinking. This is like in the last year. She and I were both drinking 
she's not on YouTube. She's not anyone that you guys know. She's just someone who I've known since I was really young. And we got into a fight. And it had been something that had been brewing for a number of years. But the alcohol certainly did not help in how she handled herself and how I handled myself. And it was regrettable behavior on both of our parts. Um, it's probably something that would have happened eventually anyways, but, um, but I just think the alcohol was an excuse to behave badly and to, to not be conscious of our words and how we were treating each other. So I started thinking about all that, and especially like for me, if I get on a plane and go somewhere, whatever that is, like maybe it's my age or, or whatever, but I, it makes me even more sensitive to alcohol. Um, I will fly somewhere and have like a glass of wine and then I'm in, I'm laying on the floor in a hotel room because my stomach can't handle it. So hello, Captain Obvious, <laughs> you should not be drinking. And so, you know, and in the last year, um, you know, I went to Mexico and I drank quite a bit in January and, you know, I went on a couple other trips last year and drank a little bit more than I usually do. But when I'm home and in my usual life, I will maybe have a glass or two of wine every couple months. Like I can go two or three months without drinking at all. And then it just occurred to me uh, last week or whenever I made the post that it had been three months since I had had any alcohol whatsoever and it felt amazing. My husband and I, we went out for dinner for his birthday in August. We went and had this beautiful, expensive, glamorous, awesome dinner at Fleming's for his birthday. Three course meal, it was beautiful. And we didn't drink, we had soda water. So, you know, we have it in like the beautiful wine glass. We have soda water and, you know, drop some lemon or orange slices in there, or lime slices and, you know, it feels as glamorous to me as drinking wine. And I love leaving a restaurant not feeling like with clarity feeling clear feeling sober and i've been thinking about that a lot too because there are people in my life that sober is a four-letter word sober is not cool sober is i don't know it's weird it's weird to me it's like why is sobriety bad why do some people look at sobriety as being not cool or I don't even know what terminology to use but to me being sober feels amazing like for me I am conscious of my words conscious of my behavior and living my life with integrity for me and not being sick like I've had to call in sick to work because I've had a glass or two of wine and then sick all night sick for hours and hours and hours and not being able to sleep and as we get older, alcohol impacts our ability to sleep. And uh, and so I just realized, I was like, it feels good to be sober. I do miss being able to have like a glass or two of wine with my girlfriends and just like that experience of just relaxing and just, you know, that whole experience. But uh, when I go out now, I just have soda water with lime or lemon or something like that. and And it just feels good not to be not to use alcohol as an excuse for being hasty and for being reckless and careless with my words or actions. So I'm sober and it feels amazing. I have no intentions to ever drink again. I may or may not slip, we'll see, but I need to learn my lesson. I, like Alcohol is not a good look for me and alcohol, does my body cannot handle it it does make it a lot easier that my husband does not drink and that we do not have alcohol in our house. Uh, unless we you know, unless we have people that are coming over, we're gonna have a dinner party or we're gonna have people over, they're gonna drink, then we'll buy it. But we don't, like I honestly don't think we have a drop of alcohol in the house right now. Um, so, and my husband just, he's just not a drinker. He doesn't, he doesn't like it. It doesn't, he doesn't like the way that it makes him feel or, or whatever. So it's just easier for us just to both um, be sober. Um, so anyways, that's my story. That's just to kind of give you a little bit of backstory. Um, I've never really had a problem with drinking other than it makes me extremely sick. And uh, I have this kinesiologist that I see and he does muscle testing on me and he, he did muscle testing. He's like, Wendy, your liver cannot handle alcohol. Your, your body 
cannot tolerate alcohol. It's just not for you. And there's, you know, there's different ethnicities that just are sensitive to alcohol. Um, I'm Scottish, Irish, English, German, so I should be able to drink, but I just can't. It's just not something that I can do. So that's my story. I'm sober and I'm so proud of it. And I really appreciate all of the encouragement that all of you guys have given me. And um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just see how it goes. And I just wanted to share my experience with you and explain to you that post because there were a lot of questions. Um, so have a great day, everybody. Um, it's a beautiful Friday here. It's September 13th. The sun is shining. It's gonna get hot again. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Peace, bye.